If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, i got a few things to go over. First off, from the majority of this video, I'm going to be covering the player ratings. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to go through what I like, what I see, what stands out to me, what I think is overrated, underrated. As well as going to be going to what you guys may have saw on Twitter yesterday. I was challenged by one of the YBN rappers to a Madden 20 game. Now, I don't know if I'll play Madden 20. I'd rather play Madden 21 for multiple reasons. Get into that in just a second, guys. But before we get into the video and we go through everything I want to go over, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. As always, guys, if you're excited for Madden 21, you want to see this game against the YBN rapper, make sure to smash that like button and just stay tuned, guys. I, I don't mind if things are a little dead right now, but make sure you come back for Madden 21. It's going to be a big year for us, hopefully, over here in our community. So... Make sure you guys are here to, you know, allow it to happen. Now, guys, honestly, Madden 20, you know, we're, we're getting we're getting near that end. We're really getting close to it. Uh, we're about a month out from Madden 20, like I've been saying at this point. And I'll cover everything in just a second. Now, I do want to open up one loose pack before we go into everything. Now, I will go get, I will bring up the tweets in just a second to show you guys where I was challenged by the YBN rapper while we open this pack. Now, I think that, I think it was super cool. I'm going to show you guys everything pretty much here. I mean, I was kind of messing with him a little bit, and then it seemed like he was pretty serious about it, so... I don't know. I'll show you guys in just a second. Let's open up this pack, see what we can get out of this. And then, of course, super excited to check out those ratings regardless. I want a golden ticket. It's never going to happen, but... Yeah. Oh, we already know. It's going to be one of those packs. Ooh, series Redux. It's going to be 97. 96 Jason Seahorn. Alright. Full Legend. 92 Charles Tillman. Full Ultimate Legend. 94 Brian Waters. And, okay, that was ass. All right, that's enough of that. Now let's head over to these screenshots real quick. All about here, he had wagered about a thousand, well, two thousand total, one thousand each, and see, that would have been mass pot. Get back your half, of course. So I made, I made a little in between comment, saw what happened, and then about ten seconds later, he replies with, "If you don't want to play today, save the conversation." So I took that as he's pretty much saying, "If I don't want to play tonight, don't waste his time." But I wasn't home, so it wasn't happening tonight. But I think we've at least sparked enough to where I can play again in Madden 21. Now, we were thinking about it, and in my opinion, I think I'd rather play Madden 21 because I could make a video of Madden 20, but no one wants to see Madden 20 right now regardless. So, if I'm going to wager $1,000, I'm doing it for a video. So, hopefully, guys, in Madden 21, if you guys want to see gameplay, you guys want to see it, make sure you smash this like button. If we could, that would be really cool. We wagered YBN 1000 and even cooler, which we're talking about, is I'm trying to see if we can get me and Zerk and someone else in a Mutt Squad against Almighty J, Namir, and whatever else I got, that'd be cool. And then I said after this, I said, oh, where is it? Uh, damn, I lost it. Okay, okay, so right here, I said, if you don't, if we, if I beat you, you have to drop a song with me. So if you guys want to see Bounce Out with that remix with him, Namir, and Poodle 2020, give this video a big thumbs up. No shot in how he makes a song with me, but that'd be really cool if I could, I would just auto-tune the hell out of that. And then I get, you ready? Let's get this bag. Let's get that bag. And then I said, where's YMB and Amir? Let's play Mud Squads. Get your crew in. He said, let me know if you want this easy money or not. If not, I'm going to give it to charity. And then I said, you guys want to see this? The YBN squad versus me and Xerxes. He said, he's scared. He waited until I go behind to play. And then he said, if you want to play 1v1 regular teams, you're making it harder than it's got to be. If you're scared, just say that. And then I said, hit you up tomorrow. He said, prior to that, just let me know when you're ready to play head to head. I'm, I'm going to go play Minecraft while you practice chicken. So pretty interesting engagement here. Now, let's see. Honest guy question. Who is this guy and how is he verified? I don't know who YBN Almighty J is. Not the Minecraft. Come pick me up. I got a thousand to, uh, to my name. Fool. 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 I'm going to tell you say fool there. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, it'd be cool if you can get a mirror in there too, but I'm okay with this. Hopefully. Hopefully. He is down for Madden 21 because that'd be a super good video. We wagered YBN Amir or YBN Almighty J a thousand dollars. That'd be a cool video to do, and maybe even get Zerk in there for a Mud Squad, but that's pretty much it for that. I mean, that was pretty exciting. Just want to show you guys that before we get into today's video, and let's go check out the Mud ratings and go through that a little bit. Okay, so we're on the Mud ratings now, as you guys can see. So we start with the 99s. I mean, the 99s are pretty generic. We always know who they're going to more or less be, well, at least close to it. So starting off, we got Aaron Donald. Well-deserving. Sure, he's always going to have a 99. He's going to be one of those guys who's a 99 to at least the end of his career, unless he has suffered some major injury. Christian McCaffrey is one of the new 99 club guys now. He was, he was great last year. He definitely deserved 99. I wasn't sure if they'd give it to him after the one big year. Like, obviously, he had a few good years. But last year was that great year. So, I wasn't sure if they'd give it to him. Michael Thomas, he did break. He broke a record. I mean, he was kind of, I expected him to be at least a high 96, 97. But they gave him a 99. Patrick Mahomes, 99. I mean, if there was a higher rating, they'd give it to him. But they can't. 
but Holmes is great. Now, as far as the stats here, I mean, 92 speed is great for him. I think Michael Thomas is really, really slow. Probably won't be using him too much in Madden 21. Mahomes is going to be a beast regardless. Throw power 97. I think he's shoving 99 in my personal opinion. Stephon Gilmore had a great year. He was the driving cog in the whole entire Patriots number one defense for a while. Bobby Wagner 98. I mean, Bobby Wagner just he's fundamental. Like he fundamentally does everything right. So like from a film stat standpoint, like Bob Wagner is always there in every way, shape, or form, which is why he's one of the most well-rounded linebackers. 86 speed honestly is pretty good for Bobby Wagner. I wish it was a little bit faster, but they don't make him too fast anymore. Um, DeAndre Hopkins 98. I honestly thought DeAndre Hopkins could have been a 90, could have been borderline 99, but I understand after the little trade and everything. I mean, fair enough, keep him at a 98. George Kittle 98. I mean, that's kind of high. George Kittle is great, but I don't think he's a 98. I think he's more of like a 97, 96. JJ Watt, he, JJ Watt's one of the best players on the field when he's healthy and when he can play, but after so much injury, like they have discounted other players for injury, so I don't know why they don't discount JJ Watt for his injury history and how much he doesn't play, but. What do I know about ratings? Zach Martin, 98. I mean, he could be 99. He's probably the best right guard, if not tied for the best right guard in the league. I mean, he's, he's just, he's a difference maker. He's a key part for, you know, Zeke and that whole rushing attack. So I see it. Julio Jones, 97. Now, I think if Michael Thomas was a 99 and George and DeAndre Hopkins, 98 and Kittle's 98, I think Julio Jones should have been 98, 99. Because on paper, Julio's probably, I mean, not on paper. From the eye test, Julio's probably the best wide receiver in the league on paper obviously he doesn't always get the stats doesn't get a lot of touchdowns i mean it's also attributed to the offense and the quarterback but that's what they left him at hello mac 97 now i think hello mac is better than jj watt especially with him being healthy recently i think hello mac should at least be a 98 russell wilson 97 i mean that's fair i think he could have been a 98 just because i think he's like really he's not the best quarterback in the league but he's not far from it travis kelsey 97 it's a fair rating as well, I think he's right there in George Kittle territory. Von Miller, 97. I think he all should have been like a 98. He's still a difference maker. A little bit older now, but not too much. Cameron Jordan should have been a 97, in my opinion. I think he's a little underrated. I honestly don't think there's that many players that were like overrated. Only a few, but a lot of underrated. Dave Bakhtiari, that's a fair rating. Fletcher Cox should have been like a 97. Like some of these, like JJ Watts up there. Fletcher Cox is right up there. Mitchell Schwartz, 96. That's a pretty fair rating, in my opinion. Tyree Kill. Now, Tyreek Hill throws me off because I think Tyreek Kill is well worth a 96, 100%. I'm just, I'm not used to seeing a speedy, like, considered a speedy, fast burner wide receiver that have an overall, like, we've had the Brandon Cooks, who's like a mixture, but Tyreek Kill is always like that, like that gadget guy. I've never seen a gadget guy this high in overall, like, in quite a while, so, obviously, in my opinion, he's become an all-rounder wide receiver. He can catch, he could catch over people, he can catch in traffic, he can run deep, medium, short, he can do everything. And he deserves all that respect. It's just weird because when he first got into here, like a lot of people were melted into their brains. Like he's a gadget player. So definitely a little throw off for me there. Clay's Campbell 95. I think honestly, he's great. I, I mean, he's old, but rating shouldn't just reflect your age. It reflects how you've been playing. Chandler Jones. He's one of the top pass rushers around in the league. So that's fair. Harrison Smith. Um, that's a fair rating. Rob Gronkowski. Guys, he's great. He may even be the best tight end this year. But how can you give someone who took a year off after being injured multiple times a 95 overall? I just don't see it. I mean, he's a little slow, but regardless, I don't think he's going to be the most popular tight end. Probably going to be more of a kittle a year anyways, as per usual. But I think Gronk should came back with like an 88. Maybe even a 90, but 95. That implies like you're a top player in the whole league. Just a lot of assumption that Teron, Arms Teron, Armstead, Teron Armstead, maybe even a little bit low there. Devontae Adams, I think Devontae Adams is really low. Devontae Adams is right up there for one of the best wide receivers in the league. I saw him live this year, and I'll tell you firsthand, like, he runs crisp routes, great at catching. He's a difference maker. He's not just your average wide receiver. I think he should at least be a 96. Jalen Ramsey, 94, I think is super low. I think Jalen Ramsey should be, like, a 97. He should not be a five-point difference overall-wise from Stephon Gilmore. Jason Kelsey at center, solid rating. Lamar Jackson, I mean, I understand. It's, it's a big jump from where he was. I think he should be, like, a 96, though, right behind Russell Wilson. I mean, he had a great, he's just a difference maker. Quinton Nelson, left guard, I think he should be a little bit higher. Amari Cooper. I'm not going to go too much further, guys, because there's a lot of ratings here. Amari Cooper. It's fair. He was injured a lot. Brandon Brooks is fair. Derrick Henry, I think, maybe a little bit low. Drew Brees, a little bit low. Miles Garrett. Honestly, despite what happened in the whole incident with him last year, I think he's a little bit low as well. I mean, they just signed him to a massive contract. They really think this guy is it for them. Rodney Hudson's fair rating. Maybe even a bit higher. I think one of the best centers. Ronnie Stanley, maybe could be a bit higher. Tyron Matthew. That's a fair rating. Maybe 94 max. Chris Jones, 92. I think he should be a little bit higher. And Devin Cordy, fair rating. Devin Cordy's been the same rating for quite a while now. 
So guys, you know I'm a Giants fan, so I do want to go check the Giants out real quick and just see how they're looking. NFC East. And just check them out real quick before we get out of this video. So let's see. The Giants are looking. Saquon Barkley, 91. 93 speed. Fire. I think he could have been a higher rating, but it's okay. He'll, he'll, the GOAT will get there soon. He'll be 99 probably in like two years. Uh, 93 speed. It's out. Evan Ingram, 90 speed. 88 overall. Kevin Zeitler, 85 overall. Golden Tate, 84. Sterling Shepard, 82. Dalvin Tomlinson. Drew Peppers, I think, is a bit low there. Leonard Williams is fair. Aldrick Rosas, I think, is a bit low. Darius Slayton definitely should be an 80 overall at this point. Come on. Darius Slayton had a great year, especially as a young guy. Laura Hernandez, I guess that's fine. Xavier McKinney, I mean, he's a rookie, so I can't say too much on that aspect. Um, we also have Daniel Jones is that low of an overall for real. Daniel Jones is 72. That's underrated. I mean, he should have at least been like a 77. There's rookie quarterbacks getting more love than him. Andrew Thomas, our first rounder, is a 71. Guys, hopefully they have a good year. They get the ratings up. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification boys. Come to the family. If you want to see the YB and Amir gameplay at some point, smash the like button. Let me know down below. Hit me up on Twitter about it. Guys, that's about it for the video. I'm out. Peace.